Okay, so I'm doing a series of videos to help you out to learn how to keep your cats off the counters and we don't want to be spraying them with water or shaking loud noises at them or any of kind of the old school techniques that you may have heard. So this first technique is using positive reinforcement. So I just put my cat up there. Thankfully I'm lucky he never gets on the counter but I was giving him treats up there to show you guys. So what I would do is I would have one of his favorite treats and I would call him off the counter and as soon as he jumps down off the counter that's when I would give him his treat but I would start slowly day by day giving him the treat a little further and further away from the counter so that he starts to learn oh I'm not gonna get a treat every time I just jump on the counter and jump off the counter so using this positive reinforcement technique is very helpful and can bring a lot of success to keeping your cats off the counter Hey guys, so I'm talking about different ways you can teach your cat to stay off the counter. I posted a video the other day about using positive reinforcement every time your cat's on the counter, call them off the counter to you, and then give them some treat. However, that's a tough one to do. You gotta be very consistent and it's not gonna work when you're not at home either, so it's kind of limited. So here's another option for you and your cat. You can teach your cat to stay on a mat on the counter and only give them a treat when they are on the mat. Then as you leave that space to go prepare food or whatever you're doing in your kitchen, if they walk off the mat, you simply call them back and say no on your mat. And it's very helpful to have a clicker with this training as well. On the mat, click as soon as they're on the mat and then you give them a treat. And if you do this consistently over a few weeks time, they're going to know that this is their safe space to be on the counters when you're in the kitchen and they're gonna get a treat so it's a win-win. Hey guys, so I'm talking about tips to keep your adorable little kitties off your counters. So if you've missed my first two in this series, look back through my videos to find out those tips. So my tip for you today though, is to get some double-sided tape and simply put it along the edges of your counters. And the goal is here that when your cat goes to jump on the counter and their paw hits the tape, they don't like the sticky feeling and they'll jump off your counter and not return. However, you might have one of the really smart kitties who learns that they're just going to jump over the tape and get on the counter anyway. In that case, you might want to check out, there's a really neat device that they sell online that gives a burst of air when the sensor is triggered. So that machine sits on your counter and then when your cat jumps and lands on the counter, they trigger the signal and the machine gives a quick, short, harmless burst of air just enough to irritate your cat and tell them, hey, I don't want you on the counter, and they leave your counter clean and safe. 